for 2,000 years. No, actually, they eat dirt since Christ was pronounced in the garden. That's right. So he's been trying to stop births. Yes. yes. Amen. Because those children that are coming into the earth are coming in to destroy his kingdom. That's right. Yes. Yes. You might think they're coming in cute and putting a little talcum powder on them and give them a little, you know, spray juice, make them defunct or whatever. No, God sees their future. Yes. Yes, Lord. Thank you. You can clean as long as you want, but sooner or later, you're going to turn them over to God. He's going to use them. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Look at Troy. Look at that hair. Yes. Man, he left his mother house with a clean hair. Man, that boy look like Samson. <laughs> Don't be touching no Delilahs. And what's that other girl name? Oh, you know. But no, it's good to have good hair. Can I use it for the spot? <laughs> I'm going to find the right size. Get some glue right on that top piece right there. They're going to say, oh, you got wavy top. <laughs> Ready? Verse 14. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, the devil, because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly thou shalt go, excuse me, shalt thou go, and thus shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. Ready? Verse 15. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Now, when you're reading that in English, your English mind will say, the children of the serpent versus the children of the woman. Right? That's how your English mind would read it. No? Right? But let's read it from a saved mind. Ready? Thy seed and her seed. What woman has a seed? Women don't carry seed. Women have eggs. No, I should say it more politely, right? Because then it would be like chickens. Women have ovaries, right? Okay, let's get the eggs out. <laughs> Women have ovaries. Men carry seed. It says, so the seed, ready? The seed of the woman, right? And her seed, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shall bruise his heel. Singular. It's not plural. It's not children mentioned here. Is one seed uh -huh. yes, yes, yes. that's coming from one woman. Yes, yes, yes. Every other woman can make seeds Teacher. as of children. Yes. But this particular woman is going to have a seed come up out of her. Yes. Yes. All right. Amen. Amen. Come on. That's right. And that's who you are. You have not come from Adam. That's right. You have come from that seed Glory, yes. that bruised Satan's head. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Glory. You got to come to a realization that you might work like everybody else. You might go to the bathroom like everybody else. Your body might get corrupted like everybody else, but you're not like everybody else. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Come on. You might have the same appetites like everybody else, and that's what you have to curb. Right. Yes. Yes. You might have the appetite. I want to I just want to get mad at somebody. Well, no, you get mad at yourself and shut up. That's right. That's right. Implode and go to the bathroom. Amen. Amen. How do you do that? <laughs> Take it out of yourself. You want to see that again? No. <laughs> it's called implode. You just going to yell at somebody, yell at yourself. That's right. That's right. Most good men have holes in their walls. This is the bad ones that hit other people. Just hit the wall. Break every bone in your head and then you go to the hospital and you stop. Stupido grande. Or is it grande stupido? So you say, her seed. Singular. It. Somebody say, it. 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 Go to Galatians chapter 3, verse 10. Go to 16. My ink ran out of my page. Hold on, so bear with me. You understanding anything I'm saying? Yes. We're dealing with the blessings. And if you don't understand the, the seed, you're going to be, you're going to have your flesh dictate whether or not you're blessed based on material gain. You ever told a sinner, wow, you are blessed. They look at you like this. What? <laughs> because it's foreign to them. To them, they work, they attain, they steal, they gain. That's they right. don't consider that a blessing. That's right, that's right. They consider it attaining. Yes. 
Yes. And because of your training, you think when you don't have, you're under a curse. Oh the children of Israel, when they didn't have, they were under a curse. Uh -huh. You're not the children of Israel. That's right. That's why you need to stay away from any religious association yes. outside of faith hey. in Christ. Hey. Thank you. you can look at it from afar, right. but don't get in there. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Galatians chapter 3 verse 16. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He saith not into seeds as of many, but as of one into thy seed, which is Christ. Amen. He was not talking to the children of Israel. Yes. Uh -huh. Amen. He was talking to Abraham and he said to thy seed. Not to seeds as of many. Yes. So you go to Israel, you see all of them, all you want. They, I'm, I'm, just gonna, I'm just not saying this to be anti-Semitic or whatever. They are a people that have a place in God. But if they do not accept the place that's available now, I don't know what's going to happen to them. All right, yeah, yeah. Just like if we didn't accept, yeah. we don't know what would happen to us. Amen. Amen. We accept it. Yes. This place God has for us. Amen. 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 Read it again, because y'all didn't y'all didn't look like y'all got it. Right? Verse 16. And now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. He saith not into seeds as of many, but as of one, into thy seed, which is Christ. When God made the promise to Abraham, he used a very important term. He said thy seed. Yes, yes. He didn't say thy seeds. Because mm -hmm. Abraham is the father of the Arab nation yes. and the Jewish nation. Yes, that's right. That's right. He is both their biological father. Amen. That's right. But the promise was not made to them biologically. Yes. The promise was made to them by faith. Yes. Yes. Whoever would accept the promise by faith yes. will be the seed of Abraham. Amen. Amen. Oh, it's going to get good. Mm -hmm. Because this is why a lot of believers are stuck. Pages 9 and Pages would say it like this. They get stuck and stupid. Uh -huh. You're in church learning, and then you're struggling because you don't make enough money. You don't have enough stuff. You struggle. Whereas you're the most powerful people on the planet. Yes, right. You struggle with identity crisis because of stuff. Come on, you're going to right. My God. That's right. Come on. You're preaching right. So that's stupid. Yes, that's right. That's right. Hallelujah. You have been given all the power that God has. The children of Isaac, the Jewish nation, and the 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 Islamic nation, they're fighting for what you have. Uh-huh. Yes. Come on down. They think they're fighting over land. Uh-huh. And they will fight over land because they can't see past that. Yes. But everything that was promised to Abraham, you got. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. That's right. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. There's so much the truth that Abraham never got it. Mm -hmm. Huh. Yes, uh -huh. that's right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The problem is, if I have enough talent, I'm going to show it to you. He, he, God said, I'm going to give this land to your seed. And that's all they can see. Is that it said this land. So they're fighting over this land. But the Bible goes on further and said, Abraham died not having received the promise. All right now. I'm helping you, and if you don't get this, you're going to be a weak jellyfish Christian for the rest yes. of your life. Amen. You're going to be just like those preachers want you to be, right. waiting on your blessing. I see it coming. <laughs> One more offering away. Yes, yes, yes. Now, now, now. You're going to be just like everybody else in those churches. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. You're 75 years old. It's coming. I still believe it's coming. You gotta go to church. Come on. I'm, I'm, it's, it's, it's not funny from heaven. Either you're blessed or you're not. 
and you are blessed. Amen. But you need to understand that you are the blessed. Yes. 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 Anybody ever got welfare checks? You know, I, 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 I never was old enough, but I saw my mother and them. I mean, I got welfare food, the big hands. We used to throw them at people, bust them to my side of the head. Yeah, we were terrible. We, you know, I like the cheese, though. The cheese is good. That was real cheese. You ever been to the supermarket? It's called cheese food. That ain't real. All right, let me get back to this point. If you ever got a welfare check, you could be on crack. But if that check got your name on it, Ah, my check. Uh -huh, right. no, give me my check. You call the police. Give me my check. That's my name. That's, right. that's not your name. That's my name. That's my check. Because your name was on it. That's right. Come on. And the government will back you up. That's right. That that's your check. That's right. Amen. Right. And because the government will back you up, you you cuss a cop out. You better give me my check. Because your name was on it. That's right. That's right. Why don't you fight on, for the blessing? Oh, yeah. Like that. Amen. Yes. Can I tell you why? Because you don't even see your name on. Oh my God. Because your name is on Deuteronomy 28. Oh and you know you ain't good. So the curses, you accept them as much as you accept the blessing at the same time. You can't accept the curse. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. You cannot accept the curse and be the blessed. Yes. All right. yes, yes. All right. Jesus took the curse yes. so that the blessing yes. of Abraham might come on the Gentile. When Jesus took the curse, he broke the Deuteronomy curses off of you. Yes. He, and, and don't think like a carnal human being. Yes, he broke the curses, but he released the blessings on me. No! You can't go under the law at all. That's right. That is in the law. Stop it. Amen. Amen. I'm the head and not the tail. You're more than that. Yes. Come on now. You could be that tail in the head at the same time. Come on now. How the word Jesus is gonna be nailed to the cross and win. Come on. You preach it right. Come on. Somebody's beating you, spitting on you. Cussing you out and you call yourself cursed? No, you're a winner. If God allow you to suffer with him, you will reign with him. Listen, cursed people will cuss somebody out. I'm not gonna suffer. That's right, that's right, man. You wanna have a baby, you go ahead and get pregnant, and you it's the first sign of uh what do they call that thing? Potosums. I make my words up. Those you have to be induced with potosum. The first sign, the first sign of what they call that stuff? Contraction. No, no uh, nah, contraction. First contraction. Oh, no. I'm fine. <laughs> no, no, stop that. I rebuke you. <laughs> Let the baby die. That's right. You gotta take this pain. Yes. Come on now. They spit him on his back, yes. plucked out his beard, Jesus. this beard and spit in his face. Oh. He said, they're going to curse you yes. because they cursed me. Yes. Yes. But you want to live this lie, pseudo-Christian life, where nobody says anything bad about you and you think you're blessed. Yes. No. Come on. Come on. You know, you, you, your clothes is new, right? You get some old cheap bummy clothes and go stand there in a fire. You can't even go near a fireplace. That polyester will just choke your neck up. <laughs> Trying to run from the flames. <laughs> How come he died? It was a polyester clothes. <laughs> in the law, you know what it says in the law? You can't even mix wool with linen. Most of y'all be, y'all going to hell. <laughs> All them cheap clothing you'll be wearing. Thank God, <laughs> Thank God you're not under the law. That's right. All them cheap clothes you wear. Yeah. Now I'm talking about you I ain't wearing no cheap clothes. Right. This is silk. <laughs> this is wool. This is 100% cotton. All right. All right. And my stuff, none of my clothes be coming out of some chemical reaction. <laughs> <laughs> my clothes be biodegradable. Yeah. 
<laughs> you dropped my clothes in the ground from the earth and came. <laughs> they will return. Some of you drop your clothes somewhere, it will be there throughout the tribulation. <laughs> you know, some of your clothes is post apocalyptic. <laughs> You don't even have to clean your clothes. That stuff is so fabricated. <laughs> check the labels. Is this uh, uh, acetone? Is that like an animal? What kind of animal is this? No. That's created. Why do you think they got to put labels on it? Because they see the Jewish people would not allow to sin against God even with their garments. Look at your coat. Don't make sure they tell you what you have. <laughs> They're trying to use these fancy words, blended wool. Blended with what? Marjorie? <laughs> I'm losing my message. You know what margarine is? Margarine is fake butter, but it's one molecule away from being plastic. Please. Y'all are yeah, eating all that plastic. You wonder why your kids are like seven feet tall. <laughs> he said, you put margarine on their waffles, put butter on them. 